so hi dear taurus a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal love reading for all the taurus sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed anytime third thing this is a reading from today till the next 72 hours let's see what is your partner currently feeling for you the person that you're dealing with what are their feelings Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups and the Page of Swords. Knight of Swords, okay. Somebody feels like charging on you. Somebody feels like rushing towards you. Sudden, unexpected uh, kind of energy. If out of the blue, somebody is just feeling like they should do something about this situation because it is kind of unbearable for them now. I don't know what kind of unbearable thing they are dealing with, but this is getting some kind of unbearable energy for them. So somebody is feeling like you are in your, you are glowing, you have lots of money, you are independent person. Somebody is having deep, deep, deep regrets when it comes to this connection, this relationship. Somebody is very sad from inside, okay, very depressed. Somebody is feeling very, very lonely, lonely. Somebody is watching your pictures or your Instagram reels or your videos, whatever you have, whatever you have, you post online on YouTube or Facebook or WhatsApp or Wherever you are putting things, wherever you are uploading things, this person is watching you. This person is feeling like uh, gathering knowledge about you, what you are up to. In some cases, if you guys had a breakup, this person is feeling like you are over the breakup. You are no longer in this breakup energy. You are moving on and they are watching your pictures. And might be in some cases, this person is feeling kind of revengeful that you have moved on so quickly. And it's hurting them. Wow. If you are a Taurus cross, if you are a cross watcher, so I do see you are watching Taurus. You are keeping an eye on them, stalking kind of energy. Not every one of you, obviously, but most of you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now, Taurus. Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay, Sun card. So you are gaining the truth. You are gaining the clarity. You are no longer in any kind of confusion regarding this particular situation in your life. So whatever the clarity is, you are just uh, trying to heal your inner child, trying to be as happy as you can in your life or at least showing other people that you are very happy even if you are not. Again, showing uh, uh, online, show off kind of energy. I'm not saying for all of you, for most, but I think most of you right now. So what you're feeling about the situation is that this is a very, very burdensome situation that, uh, that you cannot handle any longer. So you're slowing everything down. You're dragging your feet in mud kind of energy. You're like, okay, slow everything down. Let me head towards something new or someone new. Let me slowly but surely go towards new love or new situation. Because the past love or the past situation was so burdensome to handle that still you are dealing with that kind of energies. And uh, the universe is stopping you to go so, go towards something new or someone new until unless you are completely done with the past things, right? So you are just slowing things down for you, Taurus. You are in this energy of, okay, uh, let, me move, let me move towards new uh, life slowly but surely. You're taking your time to unburden yourself. This is beautiful. And I think in this energy of taking your time and to unburden yourself, you're trying to keep yourself as happy and as lighthearted as you can. Okay. For some of you, you have past wounds like childhood wounds that you are trying to heal in a child healing kind of energy. So that's what you're doing and feeling. Let's see. What action they are going to take towards you in the next 72 hours, Taurus? What is happening here? Six of, okay, swords, chariot and the five of pentacles. I think they are going to be more concerned about the pentacles, the money. Somebody is moving on. Somebody is moving on, Taurus. I'm not going to lie to you. Somebody is just moving on from this connection, from this situation. And somebody is feeling like you betrayed them. You did really wrong with them. Could be you, could be them, I don't know. But there was a betrayal. There was this energy of run, runner and a chaser here. 
it could be possible that you were running behind somebody or you were chasing someone very much and and now that you have stopped it they are feeling betrayed by you they are feeling like okay you have moved on you are doing really good in your life you don't need them so i think this person is just forcing them to move on from you because even if they are not wanting it they are doing it because there is certain kind of betrayal energy certain kind of loss that they are feeling they are feeling like you you did something really horrible with them seriously again this could be possible that they did something really horrible with you but now that you are moving on and that and that they can see you that you are moving on very beautifully you are no longer in the in their energy so they are moving on from this i don't see any kind of action honestly speaking i think this person is going to be more again concerned about the money job career part and taking a uh, goodbye from you and saying goodbye to you even if you didn't got the closure from them but this is a goodbye kind of energy from their side let's see what is the guidance for you taurus ace of pentacles the emperor and the king of pentacles something very very stable is coming your way very stable is coming your way so i think you should level up taurus i think yeah obviously taurus are very uh, fix like a taurus is a big sign and once they are fixated on something or someone they make it happen this time you have to choose very wisely that a person or a situation that's coming in your life that's stable you have to decide with logic okay with practicality with maturity with a grounded sense okay and you have to understand that if there is a new opportunity that's looking very stable you have to decide for that but you don't have to decide Uh, in hurry in a rush you have to be mature you have to be grounded sometimes you have to take very harsh decision to make your life beautiful and comfortable so this time you have to be very harsh on yourself you have to be a little bit uh, practical and grounded when it comes to love just don't be with somebody who is not going to provide you that stability that you want in your life that's it period Thank you so much for tuning in Taurus I'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste